Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Reese number 86 AV. This is a piece of mill, oh, pardon me, this is a piece of clear anodized. Well, they say mill, but I'm going to say that that's clear anodized. That's just too clean and consistent of a finish to be mill. So they say mill. Um, we're going to go with mill. It looks, looks pretty good for mill. Uh, so what this is is a piece of gasketing. Uh, obviously, it's a very petite aluminum holder with a uh, vinyl, a gray vinyl insert, a bulb style insert. It's very petite and small. Uh, where you would use this would be a variety of different applications. Um, you know, uh, okay. So first of all, before we get into that, if this was the genuine article, it's obviously just a small sample piece. There would be small holes drilled and countersunk inside of the extrusion, um, and screws would be included. Uh, six by five eighths. Uh, they say pan screws. These would not be pan screws. These would be certainly be flathead. Um, so the manufacturer says uh, if you're going to use these as an astragal, order two of them. I don't know that I would use these as an astragal. Uh, an astragal, a split astragal, really would be you'd have one weather stripping, uh, you know, component on one door and the other weather stripping component on the other door, and those two components communicate to to each other to seal. But this item, you know, you could use this in a bunch of different places. Um, first of all, you might be able to use this as a stop um, if you have some sort of a, a, a window application. Well, not necessarily a stop, but you might use this as a weather stripping on top of a stop. If you wanted to close against this, you might also, just freestyling here, you might also have a sill that you might route this into and bring your double hung window down on top of. That might be an elegant way to seal that bottom of that as well. Um, you might, speaking of mortising this, you might mortise this to the bottom of your door. You might also mortise this uh, into the edge of your doors if it was to be an astragal. Uh, you would probably, you would certainly mortise uh, the edge of your door and insert this into that mortise. Um, so anywhere where you wanted a surface mount or indeed again mortise the unit, uh, you would have probably pretty good success with that. The dimensional properties of the item, the width of the channel, they don't really give us here, but my caliper is telling me 0.374. They're saying 3 eighths. It's not clear to me what they're referring to, but the channel is 0.374. So basically 3 eighths wide, most certainly. The thickness of the item is 0 0.179, 0 0.179. And if I were to put my caliper and give you an idea of the overall projection of this without tampering, without compressing the vinyl, I'd say we'd be at about 0 0.435, 0 0.435. They're coming up with a half of an inch, I suppose. I mean, if you were to stretch that out a little bit, you could sure uh, believe that that's half of an inch. It's going to be right in that range. I mean, we're, we're talking about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, now, one, one thing you could do that would be really cool... Um, is if you're going to use this really in any application um, where weather stripping fails to work is when the door is no longer mechanically sound in the frame when the door is not hung right when it's hanging hardware has fatigued and has become worn out the door is no longer you know plumb level true and square you know the door is now sagging and the weather stripping really uh, is the hardware that is most immediately uh, compromised as a result of that. So one thing that you could do, and I think it's just a great idea, is that you could have a pair of wood doors. If you're going to use these as an astragal, um, what you could do is route that edge of that door, route it a bit deeper, and you'd have to experiment here, but you could certainly buy longer flathead screws and then get yourself some low compression, low spring rate springs and put the screw, the spring behind here, run the screw through the extrusion, through the, through the spring into the wood door so that you can, over time, adjust the projection of the material within reason. Uh, you know, I gave you the width of this. You're not going to want to, you know, adjust it too much. But 
if you had this in each door, yeah, you're going to be able to you're going to be able to move that weather stripping in and out pretty pretty confidently. Um, you'd have to do some experimentation with springs. I you know I I'm aware of the overall design assembly and I mention it because you'll really see you know the the front door of the pair the front doors of the church there are a pair of wood doors and you know those doors are are always not just church doors but pairs of wood doors are always after time moving in and they're hitting at the top and that's because that top hinge which carries 70 percent of the weight of the door by the way all that work is done on the top hinge only it gets worn out um and 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 the weather stripping then you know suffers as a result you've got doors hitting each other you've got weather stripping that's too tight up here becoming worn out and not enough down at the bottom when the problem is a worn hinge so that's an idea that you might look into Let's switch to the screen view so we can take a look at the supporting documentation for this item. Okay, so here's the item that we're looking at. It's a Reese number 86AV is what it is. 86AV, a little description down here of what it is. An image showing much of it is here. Link to the product brochure is here. Now this is handy because it will show you the other versions of this item. And really what I mean is the other inserts that go along with this right up in this box. So we're, we're literally looking at the 86 extrusion with the V for vinyl insert. You can do a polyurethane, you can do a pile, and you can do a thinned vinyl. So vinyl is the standard, regular, run-of-the-mill average baloney that you're going to get. People will choose vinyl because perhaps there are no other options available or because it's a cost consideration as vinyl is the least expensive of inserts. It's also the lowest quality in terms of performance. This fin design will also be made of vinyl but it's also nice in that it may prove to be a bit more elegant in terms of how it seals your doors because this is a lot of surface area that you have to kind of manipulate when the other door makes contact with it. This may be just a little bit more elegant for you. If you have a tighter space, um, you know, I, I would really opt for the, for the thin version because I, I don't want to be concerned, especially if you're putting them. So this is, they're showing a pair of doors here. If you were going to put one mortised into the edge of each door, I would really be liking the thin concept. Pile is exceptional because it has such low, it has such low, uh, it, it gives such low resistance to being able to allow the door to close. It's incredibly soft uh, material that you will see very often in aluminum storefront weather stripping uh, as pile, very short, um, effective, uh, and may prove to be the choice to go with, especially in those instances where you have a very tight margin. You're not going to bend this vinyl over very much. If you're trying to put too much you know, room inside of a tight space, pile will be more forgiving. Even though that fatigues the pile, at least you'll get the door to work. Now polyurethane would be the stuff to go with if incredible uh, durability is what you have in mind. Unaffected by UV uh, will not you know, foster the growth of germs, fungus, mildew, things of that nature, all but basically impervious to ultraviolet. So if you're looking for the highest performance bulb shape, don't even look at vinyl. Polyurethane is heads and shoulders better than all other options. Okay, so they're showing you a pair of a pair of doors. You know, they happen to be radius edge doors. They don't, you know, need to be radius edge. But they're showing this to you if you had a pair of doors that were hung on center hung pivots. Um, you could use this gasketing, not necessarily to seal it off, but what you're trying to do is to um, create a barrier to line of sight. If you had a pair of doors that were center hung and they were single acting or double acting, doesn't really matter, uh, you, what you don't want to do is to be able to see through there. Okay, So putting that material there, and, and the reason you'll see through there is because there is no stop if it's hung on center hung pivots and this material will act as a barrier to line of sight. So they're showing it mortised here, they're showing it surface mounted there. Uh, you'll also see this similar concept uh, with pile and there are literally uh, you, uh, doors in hospitals 
that are the bathroom doors in patient rooms or the bathroom doors in hallways that are hung on pivots and are hung with rescue hardware. So rescue hardware is, it, 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 it's exactly what it sounds like. Rescue hardware is basically, uh, it, it's a pivot. So it's a, it's a center hung pivot. You have a standard lock set. Then what happens is because it's center hung, you could actually turn that door, rotate it 90 degrees in, 90 degrees back out. So it's double acting. This little doodad here that is a weighted uh, circular shaped item that you could lift up will act as the stop. So this hole in this strike is meant for your lever privacy set. So your lever privacy set is here and the door will swing in. The door will swing in, swing in, swing in. Because you're center hung, you could, you're going to have a gap between the edge of the door and the jam. And you would have the ability to look through there. It compromises the privacy. You can lift up this weighted circular stop so that you can then pull the door out in, in the open direction because it will permit access to somebody to get into the room like a nurse. Um, and you will very often see items like this mortised into the edge of those doors. You'll see it in hospitals all the time, um, all, absolutely all the time. And I think this pile would be a great option for that. And you'll mortise it to the edge of the door. Uh, okay, um, let's wrap up this video uh, on camera. But before we do that, let's talk about the link to the manufacturer's page as seen here, where you can pull up not only all of the Reese products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to their full product catalog. I'm quite partial to Reese, and I'll tell you why. I'm partial to Reese because they are a high quality uh, end product. The weather stripping that you get from them is always, they seem to have the thickest extrusion, the cleanest extrusions. The availability of different inserts, neoprene and silicone and polyurethane, they, tr they, they really champion polyurethane. It's incredibly durable. Uh, obviously vinyl and pile. Um, their technical support people, I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever spoken to them because their customer support people are so exceptional, you never, you never even need to go past them. They have industry-leading shipping lead times, and while they have a minimum order, if you're looking for some material to get shipped quickly, my first stop would be that Reese catalog basically every time. And I would go elsewhere only when um, they didn't have the extrusion or the pro profile or the shape that I needed. Occasionally, Reese doesn't have the quantity on hand uh, to fulfill a job very quickly, but that's when you're asking for 58-foot lengths of dark bronze, 8-inch wide, quarter-inch thick, fluted, you know, saddles. Um, yeah, they, they've got 20. You know, there's no history to have 50, you know, 50 of these, <laughs> these items. My point is, sometimes you'll bump into a, a, a restraint when, it, when the quantity is quite large. doesn't happen often. Uh, speaking of dark bronze, they have the best dark bronze on aluminum finish, in my opinion, in the business. If you are matching 613 finish, a true oil rub bronze, Reese is going to be the material you want. Don't mess around with anyone else. Their extrusions are far too dark. They're approaching black, even though they're not quite black. If you are matching oil rub, you're going to want Reese. Um, and I use Reese products in, uh, on those jobs where I want the weather stripping to stand out as much as the, you know, several thousand dollars of uh, exit devices as well. If you have any questions on the 86 AV, and it's also available, I think, in the D finish, right? What we're just talking about? Yeah. So you can do it in dark bronze and the gold uh, anodized finish on this as well. Any questions on the 86 AV, Reese Weatherstripping, or any other Reese product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.